Hey guys, I just wanted to make a really short video about an issue that I'm running into with this AstroTech AT7280 version 2. I got it a few months ago over this past summer, uh, 2020. It's a beautiful telescope. Uh, I think it's kind of like a clone of uh, a Williams Optic 73mm scope and Apertura, uh, which is high point scientific's house brand i think they make a version of it um i'm assuming they're all really similar as far as the uh, image quality potential out of them um but uh I'm, I'm having issues with uh i don't know if it's backspacing and um a curve you know field curvature or if it's tilt or flexure in my imaging train so Initially, I used this with a Hotec field flattener, which has a recommended backspacing of 55 millimeters. Um, and I'll see if I can find a uh, example on my computer of the uh, stretched stars on the edges and the corners that I ran into with that. So after running into that issue with the Hotec flattener, I thought maybe that uh, particular flattener wasn't, uh, you know, the best piece of equipment to use with this uh, telescope. So I bought the AstroTech flattener, which to me also seems like it's just another generic flattener that they've, you know, branded. But this particular uh, one, the instructions come with it, which actually depict a different flattener or a different style flattener it could just be cosmetic but these instructions say that the optimum backspacing is 57 millimeters from it says from the shoulder on here but you know this piece right here so i consider this the shoulder but this unscrews so I'm not sure is the shoulder here or is the shoulder here. I'm assuming it's here. So I'm measuring from there uh, to where I believe the sensor is on my QHY 168C. And that's another area of difficulty. Um, you know, figuring out exactly where the sensor lies on here. Anyways, um, so I tried setting this up and using it at the recommended backspacing of approximately 55 57 millimeters and still ran into the issue of uh, stretched stars and I'll see if I can find another uh, example image using that setup So then uh, I started wondering, am I maybe dealing with some flexure um, and sensor tilt in my imaging train? So everything here is screwed together besides where the flattener enters the draw tube. And it's just held in by the three thumb screws and the compression ring. But it seems pretty sturdy. I mean, obviously... This isn't a good depiction here where it's just sitting on the table, but, you know, I've I've tried moving it around when it's on the mount, and it seems to be a pretty solid connection. So then I started messing around with different backspacings and started around uh, 50 millimeters from the shoulder here to, to the sensor, and... Uh, that didn't look too good, so then I went up to, I already knew that the 55, 56, 57 wasn't going to look good, so I went up to, I think about 60-ish, so that still didn't look good. Um, went all the way up to, I think, 80, uh, it actually started looking better, but still not great, or still not acceptable. 
Uh, finally, around 72 or 73 millimeters, I started to get uh, what I consider to be an acceptable image as far as the uh, roundness of stars on the edges and in the corners. So I'll put up a example of a image taken with that backspacing. So right now as it stands, it, it seems like the ideal backspacing for this combination is around in the low 70s. Uh, and I'm going to, I guess, try one more night of, uh, you know, going back and forth and trying to nail down uh, within a couple millimeters what exactly is the best spacing. But that seems to be quite quite a jump from 57 to 72 or 73 so I don't know um, if anyone's out there that has a lot of experience you know with astrophotography and this kind of thing um, it'd be great if you could chime in and and give your opinion on uh, you know what you think might be going on is the recommended spacing of 57 just way off or you know am i doing something wrong or am i measuring wrong or what so anyway i, th I think i can at least now start taking images with this telescope which is a great a great telescope uh but i would like to know exactly why that backspacing seems to be so off um anyways if you have an idea or a comment please leave it below and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.